Uh, welcome to the Fall River Conservation Commission meeting being held at pu uh, public hearing on Monday, June 6th, 2022, 5.30 in the first floor hearing room on Government Center, Fall River. Uh, pursuant to the open meeting laws, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recording or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived, by those present and deemed acknowledged and permissible. Uh, can I start with roll call? Louis Farr. Paul Arnold. James Winsby. John Brandt. We also have tonight uh, Dan Aguiar, conservation agent, Nina Pavo, recording clerk, and Gary Lett from Fall River GTV. Uh, missing tonight is Chris Boyle and Jim Cusick. Uh, first on the agenda, old business. Um, can I have a motion to bring this to the floor? I'll make a motion to bring it to the floor. A second. Roll call vote. Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, the request is for certificate of compliance SE-24-722. Owner applicant is Juan Fernandez. Project location is 178 Lake Avenue. Assessor's map is D-21-006. Filed by Alexander Gutsky. On behalf of the applicant, the applicant requests a certificate of compliance. This was tabled for May 2nd, 2024. And Mr. Aguiar said this is, uh, they're conducting a meeting tonight uh, to decide on what they're going to be doing. So I, if I could ask for a motion to table to July 11th. I'll make a motion to table to the next meeting. I'll second it. Okay, roll call vote. Abstain. Aye. Abstain. Yes. Aye. Aye. Okay, vote passes three to one. Because I live too close to vote on this one. All righty. Uh, new business. First one is um, notice of intent. Owner applicant Blunt Realty LLC Blunt uh, Fine Foods project location 630 Current Road. Assessor's map is Z 03 A portion of lot 2, lot 66 and 65. Filed by Level Design Group on behalf of applicant. The applicant process to construct an additional 19,100 square feet manufacturing addition and 4,065 square square feet of maintenance addition to an existing warehouse office facility. Uh, Blunt has asked us to table this till July 11th. Second? Oh, second. Okay, but who, did you make? I'll make, make a motion. Okay, second. Roll call vote. Aye. 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 Vote passes, 4-0. Uh, next is uh, notice of intent. Is uh, owner applicant forward development authority project location 600 of all street assessor's map is 0 22 012 filed by beta on behalf of applicant <coughs> applicant processes to construct a floating uh, a public floating dock alongside city pier within the Taunton River. Thank you for the record. My name is Laura Krauss from Beta Group. I'm a scientist uh, with Beta and I do a lot of permitting. Um, and I'm here on behalf of Fall River Redevelopment Authority. Here tonight from the authority is Sarah Page. She's the um, executive director. Uh, so I don't know how familiar you are with the, um, I also gave Nina these, um, all of the mailing and the, um, the tear, sheet, tear sheet for the legal ad. Um, so I don't know how familiar you are with the um, city pier property, um, but last summer we came before you to complete the on-site um, work and there's an existing order of conditions and that work is underway right now. Um, here tonight we are um, requesting approval for uh, four floating docks uh, located on these um, legs of the pier. Uh, we have four floating docks um, and three access gangways because there's a connecting dock here. Mm -hmm. um, so there's one dock, one, one gangway down to access this like U shape. Uh, from, and from a resource area standpoint, we've got three in water overlapping resource areas and three and two um, land overlapping resource areas. We've got land under the ocean, which is land under the Taunton River, land containing shellfish and um, land under an anadromous fish run. The project will um, permanently alter 40 point, what, what was submitted was 40.1 um, square feet of land under the ocean, and that's just from the pile um, that's being driven into the um, bottom of the Taunton River. Um, 
and then we are proposing 95 square feet of permanent alteration to riverfront area associated with a small uh, leg of concrete sidewalk to access the gangway. Right now there's an existing asphalt pathway that runs along the river here, so it's just a small piece of concrete just so you can get to the gangway. You don't have to walk over um, grass, and that's for accessibility purposes. We are also proposing a to the last sheet. Um, 120 square feet of temporary alteration, and that's just in order to install the um, the concrete walkway. We need to remove some of the grass, install the concrete, and then we'll you know reestablish grass around that area. So pretty simple project. Um, we did receive uh, some comments from Dan related to the ADA compliance. Um, so we did take a closer look, and we had to extend these two floating walkways that are in the interior. Um, in order to meet the ADA requirement. So we did make an update to the plan, and I have those. I don't know if you can accept them tonight, but um, what, um, so we've extended this floating walkway here and floating walkway here, and in order to make this extension, we had to add a pier. So that increases our imp imp impacts to land under the ocean to 40.8 square feet, so it's 0.7 feet, uh, square feet, so it's, it's really a, a minor, a revision, um, but you know, we did. We also added the notes to the plans as required for ADA requirements. And I have hard copies of those. Um, if you'd like them. <clears throat> and we'll send these to Mass DEP as well. Thank you. Uh, so, are there any questions? No, you'll be doing the work from in the water. It, um, we would like to reserve the right to do from either the water or the um, or the pier itself. It's probably going to be from the water, but uh, but they may decide to drive some from the pier. So, like when you start, you'll time this with I guess uh, what uh, the seasons with uh, the local uh, seafood, the fishing, and all that. Time of year. Yeah. So they actually D Division of Marine Fisheries didn't request any time of year restrictions. Um, I actually reached out to them because I was surprised by that. Um, and they said that they only request time of year restrictions when you're installing greater than 100 piles or um, if you're dredging or you're doing more intensive in water work. The only turbidity causing um, activity is driving the piles and it's really short lived. So they didn't feel like time of year restriction was necessary. And we did receive that correspondence from them. Okay. <clears throat> what uh, piles are you using? What kind of material? Um, it's. It, it might be a mix. I think right now it's probably going to be wood on the interior, the ones that are more protected. So there's interior uh, here for dock A. We've not labeled them dock A and dock C. Those will likely be wood. And then the, um, the ones that are more exposed will likely be either fiberglass or steel. Okay. Now, the floating docks, are you going to have something in case the tide goes down where it won't? Yes, so the, um, the floating docks have been designed and shifted away from the pier enough that they will be above the, um, they, they, there will be a separation of four feet at, low, at mean low water. So there will be a separation from the dock to the stream bed of four feet okay. at mean low water. Right. Does the board have any questions? And that's why you need this, the path, the stair, stairway to, for the four feet drop. The difference, how far away are the, are the yeah, how far away are the docks from the floating docks from the pier? They're at least five feet, so that there's no disturbance of the actual sheet piling that that's holding up the pier itself. The reason why we have these interior floating docks here is for the gangway access. So the gangways are each individually 80 feet. So they're going to be 80 feet long aluminum gangways that will then um, land on these interior docks here and here. Um, and then, then you'll just walk across into the. What would I, when they're all in, assuming mm -hmm. we vote in favor, mm -hmm. um, what is, what will I, will I be able to walk on these? What's, what do you do with them? Do uh, do? People will be able to tie boats. So if they wanted to access City Pier um, from the water, they could come. There will be cleats that you can tie up, like slips. They're transient. They're in, their intended use is for transient docking, no overnight docking. Um, and people can, you know, spend the day at City Pier. They might walk, you know, the path or something like that, and then, you know, they'd have to leave uh, the pier by the end of the day, by um, dusk. So I could walk out on them? Yes, you could. Thank you. 
I think that not past dusk, though, right? There, there'll be a gates at the entrances to each of the gangway, so you wouldn't be able to access them after dusk. I wouldn't be able to what? Access the access the docks after dusk, so after oh, yeah, after sunset. Right, yeah, right. Nobody wants to be out there anyways, so. And, yeah. But not fishing. I don't believe that. Um, We're not that, allowing yeah. fishing no. on the pier. I think that extends to the docks as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that disappointing? <clears throat> Um, I had several uh, folks talk to me about fishing from the pier, yes. Right. They're fishermen and they like to fish, I mean, they're, you know, they think scuppies and stuff like this. They're not, they're, you know, a few fish for supper and uh, we need a fishing pier someplace uh, down, someplace along there. I'm not, I'm not planning your, your, Sure for you, but I'm just saying you need one or two places that people people can go safely. Yeah. Sure. One question that I had mm -hmm. <clears throat> was with regards to um, the bottom material now that you want to be pirate and you're driving into. Mm -hmm. Has there been any environmental testing on that soil? I mean, I know the story passed of the pier itself, but would we potentially be disturbing any type of, you know? riverbed bottom that may have some level of contamination? We haven't done any testing, no. so, so I don't know. It hasn't been requested by any of the review agencies either. Okay. So there's going to be, what, 50 piles being driven down about 30 feet? 52, but yes, yeah. 52? About, yeah. And has there been any kind of, um, yeah. I don't know, impact as far as the studies for the water circulation? Is this going to impact anything like that? Because I know there's some fish runs there, like Dan was saying. Uh, some sh self shellfish. So, uh, has there been any studies? There haven't been any studies, but we do plan to use. So, that under the Army Corps requirements, they require that you use a soft start. So, what it does is you basically start driving the pile and then you stop, and it allows for like any shellfish that are in the area to move. And then you you'll keep you know driving. So, each pile will be driven that way. There'll be no change in the circulation of water in that area either. Something to note that. And I know this commission doesn't normally deal with docks or piers and things of that nature. There just aren't that many of them. There's another level of permitting beyond mm -hmm. this yes. called the Chapter 91 licensing mm -hmm. process where a lot of these questions get scrutinized even greater um, when, when they submit the actual dock construction plans to them because they actually get a license from, from the, the state, from the governor issues a license mm -hmm. for them to have these floats because no one, owned, well, the state owns this land that's in the water. So you have to get a license from the state to have these floats in the water. So they first have to come to us to deal with the environmental issues and the jurisdictional areas, but there is another level of permitting prior to construction uh, that deals with the actual construction of the docks and all of the components that you have to meet, um, which I believe these all do. That's correct, and we also need to go to Army Corps for this, as as well as MEPA. So we have a there's a lot of people looking at this, um, but yes, that's thank you. That that was very helpful. And you'll also um, the Conservation Commission receives a copy of that application when we go through the Chapter 91 process that CONCOM is required to be um, looped in. And it's important also to note that. So if you're familiar with how how the Cove Restaurant sits, for instance, if you look at the southerly end of the Cove you'll see that they have this parallel float system along that wall. To the northerly side, you'll see where they have the finger piers that come out where all of the, the boat dockage happens. This is similar to the southerly mm -hmm. portion where it's just parallel, I think six, I think one of them's eight feet wide, right? The yeah, the one. interior one up here is eight feet, the rest are six. Yeah. So that just allows people to come up, again, dock for the day, tie up, Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited to see it, you know. It is, and be, I mean, we talked about it for a long yeah. time, having some transient yeah. dockage like that, mm -hmm. because, you know, if you, if you have boated at all, um, when you get somewhere and you want to get off the boat to go out for ice cream or out for dinner, it's very difficult to find places to tie up in these private marina, marinas. Um, so this will be a, you know, a great asset for the, for the city to promote the what's happening. We have stopped by, dock their boats, spend money here. Absolutely, and what, so what's going to happen, I can, I can guarantee you, as events happen more and more on this pier, and I know Sarah could, you know, elaborate to that, I, I can't imagine that there would be an empty spot. No, I think it's going to be a success. Yeah. Night, which I think even now, even now, just at Borden Light Marina, for instance, and believe it or not, 
voters will take their vote from the board and light marina, drive it to the cove to eat dinner, and eat up a spot to do so. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. You would think you could have driven yeah. a short distance, but people that are on boats like to use their yeah. boats, Sounds and they're going a short distance, you know. Um, so well, there'll, there'll be plenty. It's of just great to see that site, you know, there's a plan being developed okay. and put in place. And uh, I, I personally think it's, uh, you know, I, I like the idea. I like everything about it. I'm excited about it. Yeah, we are too. So if we make the uh, motion, this, we could just tie the conditions to Chapter 91. That would you don't be. even have to. No, just if, if you, you just move it because all, all you're really dealing with is the impact of the resource areas. Okay. Um, we we viewed it and we looked at it and raised concerns about items that would have been addressed, just so that the need to come back to us if there was a modification through Chapter 91, they would have to get an amendment. So we made sure that those items were were taken. Uh, taken into account prior because not everybody deals with uh, public dockage mm -hmm. and re the ADA requirements that go along with it but I'm pretty sure we'll be okay with this and uh, chapter 91 will we'll deal with some of the other items okay sounds good so can I have a motion and a notice of intent to pass so, um, yeah I make that motion second second roll call vote aye aye, aye. aye. vote passes 4-0 Thanks. Excellent. Thank you Good so much. Thank you all very much. The question that doesn't, uh, is the uh, state pier, do they have sprinklers for the uh, landscaping? The state pier? Yeah. Landsca well, do they no, have sprinkling city system? Pier. City pier. City pier. City okay. pier. Sorry. <laughs> for the new landscaping that's going in, I think is the question. Yeah. We are putting in a irrigation system. Oh, okay. Yeah. I I just that's actually happening now, isn't it? it is. Oh, yeah. It's not happening. I mean, they're yeah. doing all the landscaping now. I saw the landscaping going in. It looks nice. And I was like wondering. I didn't know if it was in the plans or not, so. It is. The oh, frustration good. of the week is that the uh, national grid is not going to hook up the electricity until June 14th. And in the meantime, all this plant material is going in. And oh, boy. Hmm? Well, they. That is water they're hand water by hand. Yeah, the water they're hand watering yeah. it, but it's not adequate in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just not happy. Mm. with, uh, you know, things are not being watered enough, and it will all get resolved, and the, the system will work. They're going to hand hand operate it while they wait for the electricity. Yeah, okay. mm. So, again, not that it matters for the permitting with this commission, but will there be any utilities on these docks? No. No the, electric, no water? No, the no, there's no... No utilities because you know that's intended to be transient. Sure. They they don't want people to set up shop there. Yeah. Yeah, that <laughs> yep. makes sense. Yeah. Although when we put the utilities in, we foresaw that you could want to add them if you created more permanent dockage. So the utilities are run in such a way that it won't be hard to pull the utilities mm -hmm. over to the docks if we decide at some point we want to do that. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you might find out that. The more people come, that they may request for the just like right. like Cross Neck Beach, for instance. Everybody went camping there for so many years, yeah. and everybody knew you were going bare bones. It's just you're going there with what you came in with. No, but so. over time, mm -hmm. it's become full fledged. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so, I like you know, the fact that we start off with a transient system and see where it takes mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. instead of going, you know, full speed ahead. So I think yeah. it's for me. I think that works a little bit better. Let's see what mm -hmm. happens, and then if it becomes that much of a success, then you have the conduit. You want to electricity right. you want to make it more than it is then mm -hmm. the other thing we might say related to that is that we're just going to start we think by putting it in on the north side which is the most um, protected protected yeah. side and see how that goes and then we're getting it all permitted now but we're not assuming that we're going to build it all right away we'll mm -hmm. see how one side works. What kind and of interest you get? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All things considered, and permitting processes, how quickly do you think you would get that process started with putting that side in? Wish, wish list, your Christmas list. When, yeah. would, you, when would you hope to put We're it in? We're hoping to get it in by December mm -hmm. because we have funding that has to be spent by the end of June. And if there's a time 
time of year restriction where we, we as when we have to go through um, Army Corps, that National Marine Fisheries will have to review it, and we are in Atlantic sturgeon habitat, which is an endangered species. So they may require time of year restrictions that Division of Marine Fisheries from Massachusetts did not. So where we built that into our you know plan, and then if they don't require it, then we're golden. Yeah, but yeah. Good. Yep. Very good. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next on the item, could I have a motion to take three, four, and five together? I'll make a motion to, to take three, uh, four, and five together. I seconded. Okay. Any discussion on the, uh, we have uh, number three is a uh, National Grid's uh, approved uh, yearly operational plan. Four is a uh, notification of Mass DEP report submittal on 353 Mariano Bishop Boulevard. And five is notice of release abatement measures on 851 Globe Street. Can we just do a roll call for taking them oh, together? Oh, can we have a roll call to take it together? Sure. No, so no. Hi. Uh, did we have a motion? <coughs> we, we motion to take all three together. We, I forgot to do a roll that's call. That's what I think we're voting on. Yeah, that's yes. what we're voting on. Right. Yeah. Okay. Aye. 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 Okay. And, uh, I'll make a motion to take a three, four, and five, um, and uh, accept and place it on five. Second. Seconded. Okay, roll call vote. Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, motion for approval of minutes uh, from May 2nd, 2022. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call vote. Aye. 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 Passes. Uh, no citizen input. Can I have a motion to adjourn? Actually, before you close, oh. I just wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, Terry Marie Way, when yeah. we were given the enforcement order, yeah. um, all the work is underway. Um, about 90% of the fill has been removed. They've ordered the plants. They have you know, submitted the restoration plan like we had told them to, so they are, they're full into that. So if you ever get a chance, you want to take a drive by. I was there this morning. I'll go by again to the, tomorrow and check on it again, but I would anticipate. This is you know, where? This is where that wetland way. alteration was on that Terry Marie Way. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's that that's underway of getting resolved, and mm -hmm. um, they've been very good to deal with so far. So okay. Okay. let's good. get it cleaned good. up. And just, just so you know, I, I will be in Oregon on the date of the July meeting, which I think is the 11th. The 11th. Yeah. Yeah. I should be, unless they, something changes. Already. Okay. And I see why Nina was uh, anxious that I get here. I almost didn't come, I can tell you that. Alrighty. Well, we thank you for coming out. Yeah, thanks. Because uh, we wouldn't have had a meeting without you. Yeah, I know. I guess uh, I didn't know that, but uh, I'm glad I came. Just... Excellent. All right. Can I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Seconded. Roll call vote. Aye. Yes. The horn speaker. Aye. 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 Okay. Excellent. Thank you all very much. Thank you.